What's up guys, Dr. Typo here. Got nine different uh, little hints and pro tips for you. I'll stick around and watch all of them because you might actually learn something or you might remember something. First tip, silence is golden. Once you unlock a secondary pistol or, you know, buy another pistol, whatever, buy a silencer for your old one or, or for your new one. Reason being is that, you know, silencers do exactly what they're supposed to do. They make your gun silent. This means that in team deathmatches games, when you fire the, fire the weapon, just like in other, other multiplayer shooters, uh, you do not show up on radar. This also works in a free world, as when you fire a silenced weapon, you don't really get that much attention as compared to firing a normal weapon. Tip number two, buy some food. It's real easy to, uh, you know, die in this game, so having anything that you can you can have to regen health is, is always nice. And after buying food at a gas station, you can always rob it to get your money back. Don't forget to, to shoot the stuff that's around the, the store clerk to, you know, make him make him work a little bit faster. Or you can always, you know, if you want to, kill him and jump the counter to, to take the money yourself. You can also yell at the guy through your mic and that'll also make him uh, do his job a little bit quicker. In order to eat the food, you can uh, you can hold back, open your your quick menu here and go to your inventory and you can find the food anywhere uh, down here. P's and Q's, Ego Chasers are my favorite. And then another little quick tip is that you can you can set your, your little quick skill, your action skill, clicking both thumbsticks and you can set that to eating food so instead of having to go through your menu every time you can do that. Also, when you're in cover, you can't use your action skill or quick skill, whatever you want to call it. However, if you hold back and go into your little inventory, you can actually uh, spam the A button and eat food really quick so you can regen your health much faster. Tip number three. Every time that you call an ambulance, you, you are awarded one free health pack every time you get in it. You are also awarded one free ambulance every time you call the paramedics. So if you have, you know, if your vehicle just got impounded or blown up and you don't feel like taking a taxi, you can call the paramedics or the fire department and get a free ambulance or fire truck to drive around considering you can take the guys out of it. Tip number four. In order to make a private session, you must be in single player. Hit the start menu, go over to online, down to play Grand Theft Auto online, and then you have some other options available besides invite only. You can uh, make a crew session or any other any other kind of session, friends only, whatever. Tip number five. You actually have two aiming reticles in the game. One being the simple, which is the little dot. Uh, it's pretty much as simple as it can get, actually. And the other being the complex, which is actually uh, most of the... Most of the reticles are unique to the weapon and, and they change per gun. But I mean, as you can see here, simple, just a little dot. Hit the start menu, go over to settings, down to display, weapon target, switch it to complex or simple, whatever you, whatever you fancy. And then you have a, a different reticle instead of just a, just a singular dot in the center of your screen. Tip number six. All of the jobs that you can uh, walk into in Free World can also be hosted right from the start menu and joined right from the start menu. Just hit start, go over to online, and then to jobs. You can uh, pick join job or host job right there. You're going to go to Rockstar Created if you want to. Races, death matches, survivals, parachuting, missions, anything, anything that is around the, uh, the area that you have unlocked in Free World. Tip number seven your phone also doubles as an ATM open the internet go to money and services go down to Mays Bank and then you can deposit and withdraw money instead of having to drive to an ATM to do it kind of handy if you just finish a high dollar mission and you know you want to want to deposit that money as quick as possible tip number eight your quick menu also has a quick GPS option which you can uh, you can find many nearby things in it and instead of having to open the start menu to to locate it you can just find it there in the quick GPS and it'll put a waypoint up for you you can also use it to quick mark objectives and missions too if you're just fresh off the plane to Los Santos you can always come to the Meriwether dock do a little bit of farming down here kill a couple guys and and for the whole session that you're here you should be able to have an assault rifle it's just for the whole time that you're logged in anyways. Just don't forget to grab some ammo for it too. Another option is that you can always call the cops if you're over here by the Meriwether dock just because it's a great place to be if you're trying to get away from the cops. You can call the cops and when they show up, 
you can take them both out go and get in the car and you will be awarded with not only a free cop car but a free pump shotgun like I said you can come over here to the Merriweather docks and you will be able to easily lose your wanted level uh, if you like the video please like the video and if you want if you want to see more subscribe to the channel